And how was it working with him? I was working with him. Fun. Very fun. You know. Three words. Three letters. And last question. Uh, we're just curious. Is this your most matured uh, role when it comes to lab scenes? Kain dalawa. Yes. Most matured. It's so much fun, I think. Yeah, yeah it is. So much fun. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Congrats. Because it's close to the pandemic, so we couldn't wait to get out. Yeah. Todo. Todo ba? Yes. Todo ba? Todo ba? Okay. Thank you, guys. Congrats. Thank you. Hi, over here. Um, I'm Ron from Business World. So, uh, I want to know, um, there's very specific conditions that made this film happen. So, um, has it changed since then how you select roles or maybe how you approach acting? Because the pandemic was a very big thing that affected the entire industry. So, maybe you can talk about that. I think... Uh the conditions were different in the pandemic, mainly only uh, how we were to execute shooting or production. But in terms of, like, let's say, personal choice of projects or how to decide or which to take on, uh, for me, I can only speak for myself. Um, I'm very lucky that I, I have an existing contract with GMA Network. So choosing there really is kind of, you're, you're kind of like waiting for. Uh, what projects they have in mind and where you can fit in there. So not so much of a choice in terms of for TV, but I guess for film, when I do get scripts, I'm very lucky that I get to read the scripts before auditioning or being asked to be part or casted. Uh, sometimes you don't get to see this or read the script, you kind of just send in a self-tape edition and then they'll judge from there whether or not you can read the full script. It does depend per production, as per my experience, and if it's local, half the time I'm very lucky that they'll ask you if they can just pitch um, the project in itself and they're kind of just waiting for a yes or no. But I think it's pretty much the same. I think the decision making or what makes you say yes or no to a project is, is still very much personal. Um, and syempre, kung wala ka, wala ka talagang schedule, walang wala ka, it may present sa you and you feel naman that it doesn't go against what you believe the message is or should be, then there's no, yeah, I would take it on. And like I said, I'm quite practical like that. If there's an open month and there's nothing to do and there's a project that I think, hey, why not? That's their vision naman. Half the time, you also have to think, as an actor, it's not my vision, it's not my message. I'm not the center of this film. It's what the story is talking about and what the writer or the director's vision is. So, sorry, not <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, for me, I guess the uh, pandemic uh, really did a lot, you know, in terms of production, of course, in terms of the way we choose as well. But uh, if I may say, it made me more hungry for new roles, and with the emergence of the streaming platforms, you get to choose uh, roles that don't have to be mainstream, such as, such as this, because you can already have different markets that you can tap. So it's, our, it's to our advantage. But at the same time, since uh, there's so much global access to content nowadays, it's uh, easier for us to choose the right project because you're not stuck anymore to one genre. So we're able to explore different genres and we're at the point in our career that we can choose. So it's, it's, it, it's, a, it's a good thing for me. It's, it's something positive. That's why I haven't stopped working since the pandemic because it's hard to say no to a good project or a good story. So we just try to make it happen. But work-wise, it's still the same. Must be seen. <laughs>